Welcome back. Let's try to play some games on Shogi Club 24. Um, oh, I can seek a rated game, and I could seek a short game, because those are kind of fun. Um, let's see if we can get a game. Alternatively, I could go down the list, challenging players who are seeking an opponent. So we can see where it says play and challenge this guy. My current rank is 10Q. Oh, here we go. 7Q. Sure, let's do it. Good luck. Here we go. Um, so my current rank is 10Q. I'm aiming for 9Q. And I just got challenged by a 7Q opponent, so I'm expected to get my face rocked. Uh... As in, like, this is not going to go my way. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. Thanks, Shogi Harbor. Um, yeah, this will be good fun. Grade of 20. All right, so... Oh, man. I could use the prediction feature to... S oh, wait a sec. So here we go. One thing I keep forgetting to do is discard the pawn in front of the rook. Or to exchange it, rather. And in having done such an exchange, then I'm better poised to do an attack in the future. Another fun little tip or trick that I've learned is if you push pawns on adjacent files, this makes your attacks more convincing. Um, but I don't seem to have anything like that here. They're going to quickly build the fortress shape. I don't see a way to stop them. But I will build up the typical attack against the fortress, which is just push the pawn on this file. Oh! Okay, so this has stopped Silver Crown. Um... But also, this pawn's hanging. So, our opponent's playing very quickly. What's our next proverb, by the way? Um, so, yeah, for those who don't know Shogi, there we've got the exclamation point Shogi command and all that. But I assume since you all were just watching um, the pro games, you probably have some familiarity with what this is, what it's about. Um, so... We stop the opponent from building a perfect shape in front of their king. Um, and then I could actually stop this pawn from advancing. Uh, I'm so fortunate here that my rook covers both directions. Um, but yeah, normally you'd want to use your silver as well. Problem is, as soon as I move the silver, then my bishop hangs. Mm -hmm. And, like, everything starts hanging as soon as I start touching any of my pieces. So this gets pretty dicey. Yeah, I don't know what to do. My king shouldn't be this close to things. A little familiarity? Yeah. I'm sorry I'm not playing with, like, international pieces. Those would be kind of nice. But uh, I don't think the site offers them. Um. Okay, what's going on here? I think this is exposing me to too much danger, but I don't see an alternative. Um, well, that's interesting. Okay. 
So I stopped the silver from advancing here. Um, problem is, there are lots of tactics that don't favor me. But if I can find any one tactic that is favorable for me, maybe I can win this game immediately. And then not have to worry about tactics anymore. Uh, there's some aesthetic to it. It feels like something out of the 90s. It really works well. It's very compatible with a lot of browsers, I assume. Or at least the ones I've tried. Um, but, yeah, I guess I'm always wanting more. <laughs> Maybe that's greedy of me to want something that's even better. So I'm debating pushing the edge pawn if something... Oh, okay. They want to build their fortress shape. I can't blame them. Hmm. The heck? There are tactics here. And like I said, I just need to find one tactic that's in my favor. Anyone will do. For example, if I could take the silver and then drop it here, and then this bishop has to move, and then my bishop invades and takes the rook and everything collapses, that might be to my favor. Maybe that's how this works. I'm trying to talk myself into it, because I'm a bit of a chicken here. Um... Yeah, let's try it. I want this gold to not be defending this pawn. So I'm trying to lure the castle out even further. Or alternatively, the silver retreats back and they've failed to form the shape they're aiming for. But uh, retreat is not an option for them. All right, here we go. Too little space. Yeah, my king should not be here. My king and silver should be swapped. If I had known what they were doing, I would have built a different castle. Or rather, like, ever since I first learned the game, about a month into it, I learned this castle, and I play it pretty much every time. And it, I mean, it gets me to where I am. It's not terrible. But can I do better? Of course. I just need to learn how to do better. Is learning to do better easy? Maybe not. Alright, you get my silver, I get two of your pieces, and your rook gets to move away from my king for one turn. I know it'll be back, but at least for one turn I'm in the clear. Um, also, if, this, if somehow I could get the bishop to move away, I could drop a lance and take this and then move over. Oh! They don't want my silver. Uh, interesting. What a position. Hmm. What a wild position. 
I'm going to play the dangerous thing. Because if I don't do that, I'm not going to learn. Silver, uh, good question. I don't think tactically it was okay. I think too many things were hanging. I think what they overlooked here is I can just take this. Um, if silver takes, then my gold here is loose and my silver's loose. As it stands, they can drop a rook, but it can't take all my pieces. It can just take the silver. But yeah, I think if I moved up here earlier, knight takes, and then I take back and bishop takes, and I get a knight for um, two pieces. I think that's what I read. Like I said, I could be wrong. Um... All right. Forward. Ever forward. Threatening a knight drop to take the silver. Maybe I have other threats too, but they're wanting to move a rook or drop a rook. But they don't have a silver joining the attack here. They'd be better suited to drop a rook here or something. Uh, but I could also drop a knight here and chase this stuff. Yeah, no, the knights are tricky, and they're not even a chess knight. It's like a knight that always goes forward two and up, and then over one. Each piece is really unique in this game. All right, that hits my horse. My horse runs away. So now I'm threatening this bishop. Uh, I will want to reinforce this point soon. Um, because they're going to want to reinforce their attack soon. But both scores they'd want to put the silver on are occupied. So how do they reinforce their attack? I don't know. <laughs> they wait until I give them a knight, and then they drop the knight here. That's the plan. Uh, yeah, that's a fork. Um, to defend against a fork, we add a piece somewhere. Um, I think this is the right place to add the attacking, or the defending piece. I debated adding a lance here immediately, but I think that's a bit too contentious. So yeah, I'm going to add the lance here soon, but now is not the right time to do that. Hmm. <sighs> All right, I remove threats along this file that leads to my king. That was actually a decision. The decision was, um, do I do that, or do I drop it on the center and then bring the lance over and try to checkmate them with it? But now I'm playing the more cowardly thing that attacks much slower. Because I think I have time to do it.
Mm. I debated bringing the horse up here too. Um, but I'm trying to save a tempo. That tempo I'm trying to save is the one where I either defend my knight or I take this gold. All right, I use my silver. This protects against a rook promotion. I'm still forking these pieces. I still have this idea of retreating my horse. Um, everything takes time. They ran away from the fork. This usually means it's a good time to execute the other half of the fork. Um, I mean, my knight's not going anywhere else, so let's do it. It's not clear what to do. I think that's the best I'm going to get here. The horse belongs on your half of the board. That said, I've trapped my lance. That can't be helped. I'll try not to worry too much about it. Or rather, maybe this is the time to promote the lance. It's such a slow move. Oh, my goodness. Well, my horse is not a perfect piece. I love attacking with a rook. Very, very strong pro rook bias here. And my opponent is offering me the chance to get a rook. How can I say no? Let's do it. So my knight is protecting things for one turn. So for that one turn, we can hit this. Now my knight is lost. That's okay. Time scramble indeed. Time not spent on a turn will not be refunded to you, so use it while you got it.
My rook belongs in my opponent's camp. Just kidding. Uh, I'm not trying to lose my dragon. Alright, you get it. Well done. I was not paying enough attention. On the bright side, now I know where all their pieces are at, so I don't have to worry about this bishop drop anymore. Because it's already dealt as much damage as it can deal. Uh, but yeah, they're actually going to pile on this with a knight drop, aren't they? Oh, that hurts. Uh, okay, well. Yeah, that hurts. Um. Hmm. This is going to suck. They're going to take my silver. I'm going to take their silver. Everything is collapsing. But there's no time to change it. I wasn't going to let them promote because I'm greedy. <laughs> Possibly I'm even more aggressive than my opponent. Possibly I'm much more aggressive. So I'm threatening a knight drop and a bishop drop. And I should have considered that before taking the token. Because here they could actually take some steps to try and defend against my threats. But they don't. But they could. But they don't. Um... Interesting. Particularly given what I just said. Let's do it. Let's throw the bones. See what happens. I don't need to fear risk here. I already have a terrible position. They're the one with something to lose. Hmm. 
Thanks for the game. That's an accidental eagle eagle move. Um, yeah, I think they meant to take here first and then take that. Um, but this, like other websites, does allow illegal move entry. And I think for rated games, uh, that should be allowed. It's unfortunate when it happens, but uh, this is how you learn. So, yeah, it's an unfortunate illegal move. I have suspected it might happen, but... Um, yeah, I think both Lee Chess and Lee Shogi should do that. I've made my opinion uh, that rated games should play the similarly... Maybe not with all the strictest tournament rules in place, but I think rules like this should be enforced. Instead of preventing illegal move entry. I can understand for an unrated game, teaching beginners the game, all that, that that's one mode of play. But I think, um, yeah, this is part of the game, and we'll learn from it. Uh, let's seek another game. So, uh, again, we click the room button, seek a rated game. 30 second games are kind of fun. Um, let's see, that puts our rating... Oh, we've hit 9Q. Hooray. Yeah, I was expecting to get trounced. Um, and rightly so. Our opponent spotted the critical tactic. They forked my king and rook. And then they used the knight to pounce on my dragon after I fell into the fork. So, yeah, no, like, I was not on the pace to win that game. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be ranked 7Q anytime soon. But do I have chances? Um, can I rank up? Let's find an opponent and figure that out. Um... Let's see, who's seeking a short game? Wait 15, it's a 15 minute. Or wait 1, 5, wait S2. S2 is short too. Wait S is shortest. Um, We could do a wait short too with this dude. That sounds kind of cool. Unless, I don't see my seek out there. No, okay, wait short time limited. Mine is out there. But yeah, we could take the wait S2 guy. Um, so let's try this. Sure. See if they're interested or not. Count down 30 seconds with one minute extra. I don't know what that means. How is that different than one minute with 30 second countdown? I think these are just two ways of setting the clock. One will give you the minute to begin with. The other does the countdown immediately, and then you have the extra time. I don't know. It's over my head. All right. Uh, let's try... Yeah, I should wait 30 seconds. You've been thinking about dojo chess, where you're allowed to move any piece to any location on the board. Yeah. Oh, short two has overtime. I see. Well... <laughs> oh, all right. We're challenged to one minute... Okay, good luck. I don't know if I'm playing short or short 2 or what. It says play R short at the top of my screen. So this sets the game clock to 1 minute with 30 second BYO me. As we did the last game. Alright, the opponent defends the 4-4 pawn. Wait a second. I've done this before. Is this playable? Bishop 5-5 five five is a threat. I don't know, man. Let's just get the king out of here. And then maybe push this... Oh my god. Okay then. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to play bishop 5-5 five five next. Unless they hang the bishop. Um, or unless they play pawn 5-4. But who plays that? Um, here it goes. Bishop 5-5. Five five. Alright, and then we drop the bishop back here. And this is kind of interesting, no? 
This is short. Okay, yeah. It would say short two if we did short two. This is just the short time control. So I win the seven three pawn. Um, maybe I take it immediately. They take my lance. I take the silver. They drop in front. Maybe we exercise the slightest modicum of patience and block this bishop before winning everything. Central bishop. Yeah, 5-5 five, five bishop strategy. Okay, they block the diagonal. I guess that's a strategy. It is now. Um... How does it stop me from attacking? Like... I don't know what's happening here, man. Okay, we'll ask if the silver is going up or down. Probably it's going toward my king. And then I get to do some fun stuff here. Probably I'm overplaying very heavily. And what I'm doing is not at all reasonable. But I enjoy my fireworks, so... Okay. They're threatening mate in one. Maybe I need to do something about the mate in one threat. You know, maybe. Um... All right, we'll defend against the mate in one threat. Okay, let's check unless I take here. Um Oh. Oh, this is how shogi works. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Um, hmm. All right, we'll attempt to defend. I block my bishop because I don't have a choice. Um... Hmm. I'll put the king and the rook together, because that's safe. Tie it all up in one nice, neat package so they can collect all the pieces at once. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's a way to play shogi. Have fun. If you're not having fun, you're not learning. Um, but yeah, this might cause me to rank down losing this game. Oh, they didn't take... Or they... Okay, they did this move. I've trapped all my pieces. So maybe I've made mistakes. Yeah, I massively overplayed in the opening, and my position is very, very bad right now, but improving. Um, and if I can just dig myself out of the hole that I tend to dig myself into every game, then we'll have a game to report on. Hmm.
My silver is going to be hanging in a second, so let's run out of the attack. There we go. That's going to be the pawn that saves the game. All our hopes and dreams lie in that one pawn. And either this is going to work, or it's going to fail horribly. Let's find out. I was half expecting bishop takes and half expecting rook takes. I don't know which is better. I just know that was a decision. And they made a choice in that position where they had a decision to make. And if we give them enough coin flips, eventually they're not going to make the right decision every time. And something will eventually turn in my favor. Just have to manage to turn this into a series of a million coin flips. All right. The problem is, eventually you run out of coins to draw. Um, but, eh, what can you do? Coin flip here and a coin flip there. Here a flip, there a flip, everywhere a flip, flip. All right, so yeah, I guess they're going to move the rook to 4 4, and I don't know. I mean, they could move it to the center, and then I think I have to drop the pawn to deal with it. Oh, hey, look, I get a rook. Y'all know. I have a very, very strong pro rook bias, because I say it like every game. Um, so they promote a bishop. Hmm. Good for them. I'm going to try to break open this diagonal and then use my bishop effectively. Alternatively, if they surround their king, we're going to use the rook. Hey, look! Isn't that a nice rook? Uh, okay. Well, this is a position where pieces are on squares. I guess we'll take this, right? Why not? We have created art. Um, it's not a trivial decision. So if I move my bishop, I survive longer. Uh, wait a sec. Oh, this, these don't protect each other. In my mind, I had it backwards. But these pieces do not at all protect each other. So we're not going to move the king, because moving the king would lose this gold. That is check. That does win my silver general. Congratulations. Um. Okay. That silver is yours. Okay. Hmm. Hmm.
maybe this is an overplay. And the way we know that is that I'm the person playing the move. Oh, I lose. Thanks for the game. Oh, that's illegal. Oh, I see. Sorry, I did not mean to do that. Um. All right. Yes, I'm lost. There's... My mate is slower than their attack, and that was precisely the right way to attack, and I needed to defend better. I did not realize I was making an illegal move. Sorry about that. All right. So, yep, 63 moves. They win the game. Let's seek another game. Wait, was that not a rated game? I, it says R643. I think that was my, at time of login, that was my rating. Now I'm 662. I guess my rating history isn't shown here. I thought that was rated, but my rating still seems to be 9Q somehow. I think it was like 670 and then I lost that game, so. Oh, thank you. Thanks uh, for your support. Let's see. Hope is the strongest piece. Yeah, such an evocative metaphor, the coin flip. Yeah, see, we understand our coin flips. We might not understand a lot else, but you have to make the game something you can understand. Uh, I just realized if I hit the update button while I'm seeking game, I can see everybody else who's seeking games. That's how this interface works. Uh, 662 question mark. Alright, so there's somebody waiting for a 15 minute game, which is not what I'm waiting for. Um, wait, are these people all waiting? Oh, I see. Some people have localities. That's what this is. There's a 10Q player waiting for a short game. There's a 7Q. Alright, let's do this. Um, sure. Good luck. Oh, goodness. Oh, me, oh, my. It'd be great to see the board, wouldn't it? Not sure why that scrolled off to the side all of a sudden, but uh, let's do it. But yeah, in having won enough games and lost enough games, I've come up with some metaphors that seem at least apt to my own play. Um, all right, so... We'll put the king to safety here. And bottle up their king. This forces this gold out. Um... Hmm, I'm not totally sure what they're doing. The silver is a little bit off sides. Let's try to trap the silver. They see my trap. Let's continue the trap. All right, they back all the way up. Um, and then we'll push on the king. Oh, they want to take this pawn. So they're going to line up the silver and then take it with this bishop's support. Um... So I will defend my pawn. <laughs> he says, immediately hanging the pawn. Oh dear. Yeah, if I'd paid more attention, uh, Irene would not be lost on me. All right, so they're going to chase my rook. This is the way I should have defended the pawn, not with the silver. But anyway, um, things seem to have worked out more or less.
Hmm. Okay. We'll prevent this bishop from moving out. I'm at a loss for ideas. Um, that's a shape. Our opponent is helping us open this side of the board. How kind. This is where I wanted to put the rook anyway. Now they do get one tempo by attacking my rook, and I do have to spend one tempo retreating. But now I'm threatening to take this pawn. Hmm, I always forget about this bishop. Thankfully I have a tempo here. Um, actually it doesn't even matter because my rook is defended, so let's just take a free silver. It does matter because they have a fork. <laughs> but I still have the right motivation. Um, so even when they win my piece, it doesn't matter because my attack is such a good idea here. But no, I walked square into this. I'm annoyed that I walked square into that. Um, that could have been avoided if I were, like, trying to play the game and not talk about it. If rook takes pawn, bishop drop threatens this gold on the other side of the board. Um, <laughs> I play with confidence because I have a lot of pieces attacking. So I have a lot of reasons to believe this attack will work. Do I take this knight? I think so. Maybe taking this knight's better.
Thank you. Which way do they go? Not going to lie, I am a bit nervous, but I do put on a confident facade, don't I? Thanks for the game. Well, this is going well. I think we're earning our way up the ranks. Um, yeah, what happened this game? Let's go back. So, taking a quick look at this. Um... Oh, yeah, this, uh, I, for once, so I played Mino. Mino might not be the right shape here, but further, I took forever to activate the silver. The opponent provoked me into moving my rook over. I, at one point, hung this 5-5 five, five pawn uh, right here. The bishop takes was possible. So this was super unwise and just spells out the importance of getting your move order correct or at least putting your pieces on the right squares. Um, 
at some point I pushed my rightmost edge pawn, didn't I, or no? This game I didn't. No, I did that. That's not necessary here and just loses a move. And made the entire game one move harder to play because of that one move handicap. Um, we pushed this up because... Uh, well, this provoked the opponent to exchange stuff. I think overall I was doing fine until... Um, I mean, arguably the rook should go back to 7-8 instead of 7-9. But yeah, because of this bishop, this is the reason to not put it on 7-9. I thought this was fine. Even now, I think this is probably still... Well, I mean, I lost the bishop, but I got a really nice attack. But all that could have been avoided if I just dropped the bit rook back to 7-8 instead. And then we have an even game where the opponent has an attack, and maybe I don't. Um, but the opponent missed chances in the end game, to say the least. This pawn drop is silly. Yeah, I have the same fork here, like with the bishop drop hitting the dragon and the gold, so there's no need for me to drop the pawn here to support that. I could instead, if I really wanted to, drop the silver here. Maybe drop... No, I can't drop a pawn here, because that's Nifu. Um, I mean, what I did worked, but maybe take this pawn instead. Hmm. I'm not so convinced. This pawn drop does help surround the opposing king. You know, maybe I can misconducted this entire attack. I didn't even consider silver takes pawn until just now. And now that I'm starting to consider it, it looks amazing. Um, but maybe I'm, I don't know, all over the map on this one. Silver takes pawn, followed by a silver drop and a bishop drop hitting the rook, but also promoting on the swing. I don't think it's quite strong enough, though. Now, even now that I'm starting to look at it. But the opponent, in exchange for a pawn, gave us a tempo, and I crashed through. Cool game. Um, let's see. I can actually copy this game record to the clipboard. Let's do that. Um, I might submit this for tomorrow's game review. We'll find out. Should we play one more? Let's play one more. Hundred and one move win. Alright, so in case we don't get one more, maybe I should say something profound. Yeah. Um Shogi Club 24, it's a great website for playing games. It's easy to find an opponent. Perhaps it's not the most aesthetic thing in the universe, but it's very functional, and I do recommend its use. I know you see me doing many games on uh, Shogi Wars, and you see me also playing on 81 Dojo whenever there's a tournament and it's easy to get the game in a tournament. Here, just in general, if you're patient and you just hit the button and you ask, find me an opponent that wants the same time control, it's not that hard. Um, I guess 81 Dojo is also kind of straightforward, although I feel like I'm bothering opponents. Here I can see who's looking for a game, what kind of game they're looking for, and we can negotiate on these sorts of things. I feel like when I'm seeking on other sites, somehow I may be bothering the opponent. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't feel quite up to the task of challenging our 7Q seek. So unless there's somebody closer by that's also seeking the same time control. Um, weight S2 seems pretty similar, but there's a rating difference there. But I'm not feeling up to 7Q at the moment, so maybe we go face this 10Q opponent who's seeking a similar thing. Maybe that's fine. Oh, there we go. Maybe, yeah. It's good luck. This is not exactly what I was looking for, but also uh, this looks interesting nonetheless. Um, okay. So this is actually a 15-minute game, which is 
not what we were looking for, but that's totally fine. Um, I think this is a way to play bishop exchange. We'll find out. Um, let's see, wait, isn't there a bishop exchange line where you get to move the rook over? Or am I misremembering this? Because normal bishop exchange lines just seem like a lot to remember. But um, if this is playable, it seems not that hard to remember. Um, one thing to note is don't push the silver up because this invites a bishop drop. Um, Okay, I anticipate the king will castle this way, so I play this pawn advance. Um, yeah, I'm not totally sure what to do here. I think this is fine. I think I've not trapped myself yet. Hmm. Diagonal's wide open, so if a tactic were to emerge, now would be the time. Um, but also, like, my king looks safe, and I'm not sure that this king is safe. So maybe this is the time for me to push my rook pawn. Even with everything else going on, this might be a good time for that. Um, maybe. I'm a bit reluctant. Um, well, let's try it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. But this is risky. If Rook takes... Rook takes, gold takes, rook drop is a fork. I'm not equipped to handle that, so gold takes seems necessary here. They bring out a knight. I did not expect that. I can do the same. Why not? We're both playing really speedily for a 15 minute game. I don't know if there's overtime or not. Or if this is just straight 15 minute. It'd be sad if it's straight 15 minute, but oh well. It'll be a learning experience if that's the case. Um. What's the opponent planning? Okay. I have some sort of upside-down castle thing going on. Maybe it's fine. <sighs> it's not the move I wanted to play, but honestly... Um, my position's kind of loose. So I need to play something not so loosey-goosey. Okay. I'll take space on the edge and maybe even push again. If I push again, stuff gets exchanged and I take the edge. Which I think I outnumber the opponent on. Because I have a gold over here and they do not. 
So they seem to be encouraging this confrontation that I'm seemed that I seem destined to win or uh, emerge victorious on. Um, I could move the lance up in advance, or I could just start exchanging. Pawn, pawn, lance, lance, gold. Yeah, they'll drop a bishop at some point. Let's not despair. Let's have some faith that this is okay. No need to despair just yet. Okay, get to take a second pawn in a row, and then we trap the lance. And then see if the opponents read something deeper than I have. Maybe they have. So that's the thing with these pawn drops to lure the lance forward step by step, is I could return each pawn to lure the lance back. So, yeah, they forced my lance to this square where it could be captured, but that just means that the tactic resolves on a different square. Unless there's some shot here that I've just missed, and there could be. Like if they drop a bishop and somehow I move the rook, they take this, I take back. If somehow that works in their favor, they've changed the position for a single turn. But otherwise, I'm just taking the lance on a different square. And it's a different piece doing the capture. It's a pawn taking it instead of uh, gold taking. So again, I don't know if this is just straight 15 minute or if there's... No, this seems to be straight 15 minute because I'm not seeing any counter in an adjacent box. Why did we seek a straight 15 minute game? Why did the opponent do that? I don't know. Like, even some kind of counter hmm, seems appropriate. This is a weird time control. If very strange things happen in the late end game. It couldn't be helped. But we did get an opponent. It was easy to get an opponent. Um, so. The other thing that's kind of fun about just straight time control, no delay, no increment, no biryomi, is that uh, if you spend some time early in the game. Later you'll hit a position where your opponent starts thinking. So using time consistently throughout the game can be advantageous as compared to, I don't know, blitzing out your moves, getting a position like this, and then having an oh crap moment. Um, I don't know exactly how best to explain it, but yeah, balancing your time usage can prevent oh crap moments from happening, at least in great number. They'll still happen, but your odds of ending up in these moments decreases if you use your time responsibly. So the opponent was threatening to take my knight and take my rook. Oh, well... Okay. Sure, we can resolve this tactic. Oh, that's a nice little fork you got there. That's beautiful. Nicely spotted. Like I was saying, these oh crap moments happen less frequently if you use your time consistently. They're insisting that I don't get to promote my rook. I will allow what they're insisting upon. So let's do it. Um, 
All right, so you get my rook, and all I get is this lousy attack. Don't run from a fork. I was tempted to move the gold and then take here and take here and, you know, try to justify things one way. Um, but your opponent can only take one of these attacked pieces at a time. So if these pieces are in good squares, running from a fork is a waste of time. If the pieces are in good squares. All right. So we got a promoted pawn. That's pretty nice. Uh, we can take one of these. Can use the promoted pawn immediately. And the opponent's running away already. Okay, I will block this long diagonal so they can't use it effectively against my king. But really what I'm trying to do is provoke the silver into a position where it's hanging. But really, really what I'm trying to do is drop my rook here, or here, and suddenly have some tactic where I just win all their pieces. That's one idea. Another is I pr use this promoted pawn, take a gold, gold takes, and then I drop here and mate them on the back rank, or take the horse. So there's ideas in this position. Um, okay. Hmm. Let's see how they react to that. Oh joy, look, they can collect my horse. If they don't, um, then the moment's lost. So, um, I'll take this anyway. And now I'm hitting a horse. I'm also threatening a back rank mate. Maybe taking the horse is not a good idea, but in general, horse is an excellent defensive piece. Um, that's interesting too. What does this do? What have you achieved with that rook drop? Thanks for the game. Yeah, the problem here is if the gold takes, I repeat the fork, and then the rook is further exposed. If king takes, well, the king's very exposed, and I have a lot of good moves in that case. Ah, that's how tough how the cookie crumbles there. But yeah, it's super easy to get an opponent. Uh, there's only a few standard time controls people tend to seek. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. All right, we have, sure, this is a short time control. Let's do it. Good luck. Oh, I just, I'm 700 is my rating. I was about to say I just ranked up, um, despite, um, but despite having crossed from the 600s into the 700s, that's not considered a rank up here. If they want this pawn, that's fine. Um, the way we know it's fine is because we've asked about it before. Um, and while some pawns are dangerous to lose, others are not so dangerous to lose. All right, this I'm playing with fire. This is kind of cool because if the silver comes out, I say that's fine. I want to attack your king. Uh, and you can chase my bishop, and I can even let you take the bishop. As long as I get your king, I don't care. Okay. 
They didn't want the bishop. That's fine. I'm still going after the king. Yeah, that I could see that. We're going to get stuck somewhere. Oh, should I have dropped a pawn here to, like, exchange pawns for a gold general? I wanted the silver back here, so that's why I did this first. But a pawn drop was probably the... Well, this advanced pawn is really strong. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're saying Killer Ducky got to 7Q? Okay. Maybe... Yeah, my goal today was to aim for 9Q. But we seem to have immediately hit that goal, so maybe I need a new goal. Um, they can't use a pawn to defend this pawn. So let's attack it. I also debated dropping a pawn here. No, the pawn drop was the right thing to do. This was not right. This is optimistic in the aspect that they might not take my token. But they could have taken it. And that would have killed my attack. Um, hmm. <laughs> Road to Showdown ain't happening on this site. <laughs> uh, that ain't happening anytime soon here. Maybe someday, but... Um, yeah, I think you can find... Oh, what's it? On this site, when you're trying to pick your initial rank, they give you some explanation about what... Uh, how your rank here might compare with your rank in your prefecture or your rank um, on other websites. Yeah. Uh, Shodan, what seems like... So, U.S. Chess Federation National Masters, is that like top 5% of active tournament players, I think? Um... So that top 5% category might be a bit ambitious for me. Um, I mentioned I just want the king here, right? Um, I seem to have run out of pawns. Hmm, how do you do this? Despite, like, being good at chess and at bug house, shogi checkmates still remain a bit of a mystery to me. Um... All right, that's a fork. Yeah, I'm okay at chess. I beat a former 2150 this week. So I'm not doing too badly these days. Now, I mean, I guess I had to qualify that. Currently, the rating is only somewhere around 2000, but... Um, yeah, and also I got immensely lucky. That doesn't hurt, but I'm playing okay. I'm decent at chess. All right, should we provoke them to move a gold over to defend this? And after they spend some time defending it, then go back the other way?
Well, they might use a rook to defend this. That I didn't consider. That would make sense. Uh -huh. well, I think my attack has fizzled out. I've done everything here that my attack can do. And then I need to admit that, okay, I've just won. I haven't even won a rook. Won whatever this is. I got my material back. And now we get to play the game properly. So we'll just build a shape. And slowly work our way up the board. And see what the opponent does while we're doing that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's a cute edge pawn push. Uh, but that encourages violence, sir. You know, like, I'm going to push this edge pawn because you did that. Um. <laughs> this would be easier if I already had a pawn. But we have a way to get a pawn. Hmm. Oh, are they lining this up so they can take this? Is that the point? Like, if the point was to try to get me to defend something better, I mean, I could have considered that, but... Um... Okay, so I defend my center pawn. My bastion of strength. Everything everywhere is just barely defended enough. So if I fuck up one tactic, it's all over! Yay! Um, it'd be nice to not be in that situation. Uh, maybe I should have pushed this pawn instead of moving my silver. Uh, time pressure is influencing my hasty move decisions. That and just generally not knowing what I'm doing. Um, those two factors are contributing to my crazy moves. Uh, but yeah, the silver should be, like, over one. Oh, right. I totally invited this. That's why you don't push this pawn. But hey, I'm getting a pawn now. I guess that's a positive thing. This is going to suck. <laughs> oh, I did not play this right at all. I'm still playing too quickly. I expect Rick drop in the corner. Ah, uh, I missed that. Mm-hmm.
And they can just repeat the tactic, because I'm an idiot. So, yeah, we're learning the hard way how this game works. Um, experience is the best teacher. And this is how you gain experience. Either that or pay a teacher to teach you things. All right, we've broken the edge files. Now we can take the knight. We'll see if that lures their attack away from my king. It does. Hooray. Um, finally, I play this move, which is very long overdue. It's overdue since the moment I got a pawn. Should have gone there. Finally is there. And all is well and right with the world. But then also we have this edge file attack that the opponent just executed. We get to do the same thing right back to them. Um... I've been debating, like, pushing this pawn, pushing the silver, exchanging stuff here, but this is the faster way. It just costs a pawn. And my edge, but I get to break through and take their edge, so it's worth it. There we go. Yeah, they are going to have, well, three out of four lances, but it's fine. Fine, you can actually have all four lances. I'm not picky. Maybe I should be. Take a pawn while you're at it. Hmm? Here we go. The dragon is still off sides. And yeah, sure, they trap my bishop. That's fine.
What a mess. What an incredible mess. So our opponent was very insistent that we not break the center. So I'm going to have to break the left side instead. Maybe I should have just taken this instead of trying to go fish for that. Mm, taking this, but then they drop a lance and things get terrifying. I don't know. I think this is an okay decision. I think I need to take both of these as my point. That looks risky, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, I was starting to ruminate on this. This looks interesting. What defends the pawns? If the pawns can't defend themselves, what can defend them? I mean, you could argue maybe a lance could defend a pawn. It dawns on me, I should have just dropped the pawn here directly instead of going through this first. Because now they can drop a pawn to defend the silver. I'm not saying that's a winning strategy, but I'm saying I gave them options. Oh, they also have that. Um... Hmm. Hmm.
This is terrible. I've let their king escape. I drop this on the square they would like to drop on. Granted, they could just take the lance. And maybe should, because this bishop's not doing a whole ton. But they don't. Reading is hard. <laughs> Reading is super hard. Oh, man. I don't know if that was a terrible idea. We'll find out. I think I finally made headway here. With some cooperation. But what matters is my achievement. The sad thing is that I'm not even winning this. Yes, I see the knight fork. At this point, I don't care. Activating my pieces is worth whatever that exchange is going to cost me. As long as I don't get checkmated. Whoa! Thanks for the game. I think they misclicked. They meant to move the rook here. And I was debating which piece I block with. I think moving my gold up to block is the best. But if that loses, and there's a very good chance it does lose, then a knight drop to block might be reasonable. What's not reasonable would be a pawn drop to block the check. But yeah, they misclicked this. This gives me the tempo, and I could just mate them directly. Um, it's unfortunate, but such, I guess, happens in Blitz. Thanks for the game. Um, so we're currently sitting at 9Q. Should we seek another one? Let's seek another one. Uh, 
and let's see. It's currently, we are standing at 9Q. I was scared of that 7Q the other day. Or the other many games ago here. Uh, we can refresh to see who's actively looking for a game since the last time we tried this. I'm sitting at 721. Uh, there's another opponent loading for a short game. We could ask them. They're rated 8Q. There's also, that's 15 minute, this is short too. Yeah, let's ask this gentleman. Might they be interested in a game? Uh, we'll see. Oh, that's fine. All right. Um, so perhaps, uh, I don't know. This person says wait short too. They're somewhat close to our rating. We could challenge them and see if they're available to it. This is what they're seeking. Countdown with a minute extra so there's overtime. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, possibly, yeah, we'll just seek a game some other time. I know I was bragging about how easy it is to seek a game, but also it's not the greatest time in the universe to, uh, yeah, let's play it. All right, thanks. Good luck. Uh, let's fix the layout. Somehow this all scrolled to one side. Um, let's do it. Interesting. Okay, my crazy aggression is met by something that's not entirely crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should. I feel um, they might, I don't know, not want to play against somebody who is a new player on this site that they don't have a chance to know my rating. Like, when I'm playing on Lee Chess, I'm always a little bit hesitant playing against players who don't have, who either don't have a rating history or have a rating history and it's not perfect. Um, so I kind of get it that my challenges are getting declined by folks in the same rating. Oh, hang on. Nope. Nope. Just play normal moves. Play normal moves. It's fine. There's nothing to panic about. We'll bring the bishop out some other way. Um, they are trying some weird cheapo. And while I am all for cheapos in the opening that make the game exciting, um, I wouldn't recommend that the opponent try it. Uh, unless they know what they're doing. That's a free pawn. Um, all right. I'll take that too. We can't take this one though. So, yeah, the opponent gets a fork on my back rank, and I'll live with that. Um, so we got three pawns in hand. They've exchanged a silver for a gold. I have a silver in hand, they have a gold in hand, and this is kind of a mess. Um, no, the intent wasn't so much getting... I mean, you saw like my opening games, I was getting whopped a few times. Beginner crushing, I don't think, is an accurate characterization, even if I'm lucking out pretty heavily every game. I don't consider that beginner crushing. Maybe you do. Um, I don't know what to do here.
But yeah, if you've seen the games, yeah, I've won each game. But I think, like, each... most games have been pretty close. I've trapped my bishop. My rook's not doing a whole lot better than my bishop here. Um... Hmm. What's the opponent doing? They hit this point twice, I defend it twice, and they are out of pawns. I think what's happening today is I'm learning how to play endgames. Um, I think that's the little motif we've got going on at the moment. Um... Hmm. We got the flying V formation. I just send all of my guys forward, um, which is totally safe, and it's never backfired, ever. Um, Okay, I exposed my rook. Oh, this is actually really nice. Oh, wow. Uh, I accidentally have a beautiful attack that I had not been planning. The attack goes something like, use this file. Um, yeah, I had not been planning this, but it's here, so let's do it. That's pretty nice. All right, we want a rook. Um, so this game is probably the closest one we've had to a beginner crush. And that the opponent tried to build an attack, uh, was very focused on one thing. But, um, yeah, perhaps on account of the hour of day or something, that's what produced this exciting idea. Uh, but yeah, I think I prevailed there. All right, so we're working our way up the ranks. Yeah, maybe we keep playing until we lose one. Um, or at least our aim, I guess, is now trying to get 8Q. Um, it's not so much that I want to bully or anything, and it's not that this is the great hour for uh, Shogi in Japan. It's like 5 a.m. their time, I think. 6 a.m., something like that. Um, 
But yeah, it would be fun to work our way up the ranks step by step here. I don't understand what wait 15 is about. That looks like it's just straight 15 minute, no increment, no delay. Oh, 15 with countdown 60. Let's do it. Okay, good luck. I see. So even though there's no countdown shown here, this is 15 minute, 60 second countdown. Or 60 second video, rather. Same thing. Tomato, tomato. Rook 4 2 tends to be played a lot here because now 4 4 is loose. Uh. Five five pawn here pawn takes you know screw it let's do this let's see what happens <laughs> how bad can this be um this looks fun I think this looks vaguely familiar so how the hell does this go again. Hmm. I mean, I could play pawn 3 6 if I'm a wimp. Uh, pawn takes, silver takes, bishop takes, gold takes, rook takes, knight takes, pawn drop. I don't know. Maybe I don't win the house here. Um, pawn, silver, pawn, silver, pawn. No. Man, this looked like such an awesome attack. Pawn. Pawn. I don't know. Takes, 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 knight takes, pawn drop. Hmm. How can we say no to this? The only way we could say no is if we could, like, improve my king's safety first and they can't improve theirs. Um, I think that's my one trying to improve my position thing that we do before we launch this. Um... Yeah, but now they have knight takes. But that doesn't look sound. Mm hmm. Bishop takes. Gold takes. Pawn drop. Gold retreats. Silver drop. I don't know anymore. Um, let's do it. Transport says we're crushing beginners today. We'll see if he's right, or if I just sacked for no reason and get nothing out of this. Um. Note, I should have just pushed the pawn and then taken both of these. Uh, like, neither of our moves make any sense at all. Um, thankfully, my nonsense here is not fatal. Uh, yeah, not sure what happened. Um, I got 
caught up in this, but yeah, this silver drop is silly. Of course I should just push the pawn. And if gold takes, rook takes, so that's not going to happen. But the, so if I push the pawn, they drop here. Well, maybe this is mercurial after all. Um, this looks ridiculous. Their knight's hanging. This gold is... Everything is hanging. And if they had a pawn, they could trap my silver, but they don't have a pawn, so... If I exchange here and I drop the gold, I'm threatening to take this pawn, but the rook stays on this line, and I don't profit. But the way I do profit is just take the knight. Um... Wait, if I take this now, the king cannot fight back. Whereas if I delay this capture, that actually does complicate things. But if I exchange, then they could use the silver in hand anywhere. Um, oh, of course, what I should just do is take the pawn and then push this. Winning a knight is the least of my concerns here. Uh, is there anything horribly wrong with taking the pawn? Their gold can escape, and then I promote. That seems fine. Uh, potentially they have a fork with the bishop here. So if I take, maybe I don't promote on my way back. And now I'm threatening to push here. But now the king can actually fight back on the square. Oh, like I was just saying, too. It's like I'm not thinking. That's not good. But I had this fallback variation in mind that I can chase the knight and collect it. So even if the king walks into this danger... And even if somehow the tactics favor the opponent, um, yeah, my fallback variation is just collect the knight and then hope that I can use the knight gainfully somehow. What's our next proverb? What do we have? Uh, against the edge king, push the edge pawn. I don't think that applies here. Right, so against this I just go back and it's the same. Oh, it's not the same. It's very similar, but it's not the same. Okay, point taken. Mm -hmm. I push, Rick takes, I take. If they take here, I drop a gold. Um, but then they drop silver somewhere. Hmm. Silver takes, takes, a s move slow. Here, take, take. Uh, I don't know. Comparing one variation to another seems really challenging in my mind somehow. Um, I think this is the right way to go. So a gold general allows me to surround the king. Um, so I'm threatening mate in one. I expect some kind of defense to that. Um, but it actually doesn't look trivial to defend. Also, I should have, like, stopped to take a breath in a moment before I did that. Because I would have spotted this, and this actually does work. Um. Mm hmm See, that would have been a good thing for me to spot.
if you're setting up certain mate or if you're trying to set up a checkmate with Ishi, aka a certain death, make sure that you get it right. All right. I mean, I did see this as a fallback variation where, like, okay, yeah, they're still attacking really heavily, but this bishop is not useful. And, yeah, I should not have dropped the gold here until I had the mate. Should have, like, exchanged the rooks first and then threatened this, and they would have defended against it somehow, and the game would have proceeded. But, yeah, so... I'm just missing obvious idea after obvious idea. I'm trying my best, I really am, but it's just not easy. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, if I could surround the king from the front, that would be fantastic. I don't think I can manage that anymore. I need to, like, back up the pawn and then drop the rook here and move the rook over. Which doesn't look feasible. Or I could drop the rook here, brock the pawn up next, but then they'll use something to defend this, and I'm, it's just not lined up right. I could also drop the rook on the other side of the pawn, but then they drop any... Well, they wouldn't drop here. They run away. Running away is sensible. I guess they're trying to see if they have a checkmate against me. Whereas I just gambled that they didn't. But possibly sacking here, either this turn or next turn, could be immensely strong. Um... If it is, I'm screwed. If it's not, I'm okay. I think my biggest threat, pawn drop, pawn advance and promote, and then a rook drop here. I think that three move combination is my heaviest threat. My swiftest threat, I think, is to move the pawn down. Pray that they don't have some way to exchange stuff for that. And then drop the rook and use the rook and the pawn. A token to chase the king. I think that's my strongest play, or my swiftest play here. Uh, to bring the token down and pray that I have a checkmate somewhere. Uh, I don't think I do. I don't think I'm even close. Would have been nice though. Hmm. If I'm combining attack and defense, maybe I should move my knight out. Then the knight would move up and threaten this. But more likely they would exchange knights here. They would drop something down there and... I don't know, maybe I'd still have a knight and all that. But my point would be that to try to exchange off this knight before it checkmates me somehow. But I'll be giving the opponent the knight back. They just drop it on the same square all over again. That seems kind of extremely fishy for me to pursue that kind of pursuit. Oh, me, oh my. Holy moly. Well, I was mentioning my ideas. This I uh, not even crossed my mind. Um... Makes sense. They want to drop a piece down here. Check. King moves. Hmm.
All right, I'll defend my king and just let all three of these pieces go. They don't have time to take all three of them. Hmm. Another heavy drop. <clears throat> I'm so I'm annoyed how effective that is. Oh, I could drop another gold, but they would drop another gold and that wouldn't change a thing. I could retreat this gold. They would drop a bishop. Or they could drop a rook, rather, because they have a rook. Maybe my best was actually to drop a pawn and try to promote it. I just... It's too much. It's too much. Figuring this out is challenging. I guess I'm threatening to take here and take the knight, which is sad, because I'd like to have a better threat than that. But I just don't have the pieces to support my attack. Oh. Well, we execute my threat. This is the hard part, showing enough self-restraint to play the right move, whatever the right move happens to be. I think forcing the opponent to drop a heavy piece to defend is the right move here. Maybe I should have gone back. Maybe. I don't know.
Yeah, I think this belongs here now, and now I have a night drop threat. Just continues smoking the king out. And their attack is going to not have the gold that they had earlier. Okay. Math is hard. We're in a jungle where 2 plus 2 is 5. Speed is of the essence here. Speed is of the essence. So we attack immediately. Um, potentially this gold retreats. There's always a catch. The problem here is if the gold retreats, I can't just take it. Well, maybe I can. I take it. Oh, never mind. Pretty sure I can take this. No. Just kidding. Um. So if the silver takes the knight, the silver's not supporting this. If the gold takes the gold, the king, gold's not supporting the king. If the silver moves up, then this bishop's hanging. And this pawn is not able to support the gold because Nifu prevents two pawns from being on the same file. I guess this also introduces a threat of gold takes silver. Mm-hmm. I'm threatening the silver. I'm also threatening the pawn that the silver is defending. Um...
So the king cannot defend the silver, although the silver can defend the other silver. Oh, I wonder, can I repeat the tactic if they move the king out and I drop another gold here? Gold takes, dragon takes, and this silver's pinned with the same tactic we just had down a file. Uh, maybe. Hmm, probably not. So I guess actually my threat is probably to take the silver. They'll hit my dragon somehow. Oh, okay, so if the king's here, maybe I sack the dragon to collect the bishop. Hmm, it's unpleasant. It would be nice to have a continuous attack. Oh, wait, if they hit the dragon, I... well, if I move the dragon away from the attack, it can turn sour in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Silver here, I assume? Actually, wait. If I take here, if they defend... No. No, we have to lead with the silver, right? Shit, I don't know. Hmm. Counting is hard, and I seem to be really, really bad at it. Um, this is what I was trying to count out a turn ago. Uh, I miscounted it. King 3-3 three, three is what I missed. But I think even in the King 3-3 three, three line, I'm okay. So, yeah, I missed a checkmate, probably. Probably there was a checkmate somewhere in there. Um, now it's imperative for my opponent to find a mate speedily with what they have left. Hmm. 
I'm not going to expose my king. Not willingly. They drop a silver. Aye. That's not a silver. Um, wait, did I have a mate? I didn't believe that there was a mate. No, but like Silver Drop and then Dragon Takes surely must have mated. 101. If you have a checkmate, play the mate. Um, so yeah, Silver Drop, then Dragon Takes, etc. would have mated. I missed it. And that like clearly would have been the way to go. Um... That said, my king is moves away from being mated here, so I can only get so mad at myself, as I think I'm still winning this. Well, we'll see just how I effed this up and what the consequences are. I will be impressed if the opponent mates me here, because I triple-checked my work here, made sure that my two silvers are indeed covering enough squares that, like, I just don't see how I could get mated. But I also missed, like, a mate in five over here, so... Shouldn't have missed it, but having missed that, yeah. I mean, the opponent might try to find some defensive idea now. <laughs> Since, uh, yeah, I've demonstrated I can miss a mate in five. That's it, I'm looking at, like, bishop drop on a silver gold mate, so... This does not look easy for them to escape. Um... Oh, bishop king over here. Never mind. I think this might be the last game, as I am showing, like, I missed a mate in five, and it's just not good form. Alright, my best move is obviously to drag the king over here. So, let's do the obvious move. Um, I think their best would be to drop a gold on one of these two squares. And if I take it, there's some chance I get mated. But if I just walk away from the barrage of checking pieces, if I can survive walking away... Uh, then we're fine. Since gold takes silver is not check, that gives me a turn to attack. And one turn's all I need to win this. The opponent has a knight and a gold and a pawn, but the pawn can't be used. So can the knight and the gold checkmate me somehow? I don't think so. Can they defend their... Okay, never mind. Defense is not on the menu for today. Um, am I seeing this correctly? 
Oh, well, there's that. I don't even need to sack to draw the king out. Um, and then gold drop next turn will checkmate. Or if they go this way, I could use the pawn to mate. But yeah, I think we're going to call it after this, unless the opponent issues a rematch. I don't even know if the interface supports rematches. But yeah, thanks for the game. Well played. Yeah. Um, tough loss, for sure. But good fun. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.